able to keep it alive. Good look from Langley. Now Shrimp guarding Hopper. The backdoor pass. Here's the double team on Shrimp. And Payton fires. Hits the three. Gary Payton, seven minutes in gets it in just under five minutes in this first quarter. Jordan gets inside. Oh, Sonics lead by one. Good thing for Seattle is how many shot attempts they're getting as Jordan is feeling it. Perfect. You can describe it now just playing so disciplined, so under control. Jordan. Make the defense react. Go, Sam, go, Sam. Man, I think they can post up Devlin Shrimp, who was an awesome post up for foul. It's on Payton. That is his first call. Is that man, Gary Payton, going to take Michael Jordan inside and not really happy with a play late in game one as they got tangled up, got a double technical foul. I ran into Gary Payton on the elevator yesterday saying, I am not going to take any more of that from Michael Jordan. <laughs> and it's amazing how much information Matt can pick up on those elevators. <laughs> Payton with the steal and puts it down. And then apparently had something to say to Jordan. Not a good idea. <laughs> Late in game one and yesterday as well. I want you to get a little crazy out there. I want you to be yourself. I want to see some arrogance. I want to see the Gary Payton that helped lead us to 64 wins. And there's a little bit of it right there. And you have to. The game is tied at 39. I have it, uh, Phil indicating uh, play through it. Short oh. Posterized <laughs> Scotty Pippen. As Kemp started to accelerate, offensive foul on Jordan. You can see Pippen wanted no part, understandably, looking to get out of the uh, area. And a timeout call now by Chicago. 11 turnovers now for the Bulls. Here's the move by Kemp, serving up a facial, which is enjoyed. Jordan for Halftime of game two at the United Center. Ahmad Rashad back at the United Center. Now at the end of the half, you saw Michael Jordan walking off the court a little bit upset. This is what he was upset about. Just when he was going up, David Wingate appeared to undercut him, which really upset Michael Jordan. Now if we go back to game one, it happened once again. This is where it started. Michael and David Wingate going at it underneath the boards. and. He was very upset. He wasn't the only one upset. Phil Jackson really lambasting his team, telling him that they're just getting overplayed all, all over the court. Let's go down to Hannah. As this third quarter gets underway, Rick Longley with a nice dish from Michael Jordan. Shrimp off of Jordan has freed up his mind to concentrate on offense. Jordan over Hawkins. So the matchup for the... Hawkins and Peyton in the backcourt with Shrimp, Kemp, and Johnson on the front line. And Jordan all over Hawkins. Last touch by Hawkins. What a play defensively by Michael Jordan. Gary Peyton, nice change of pace. Welcome back to the United Center in Chicago. Look at the hustle by Dennis Rodman a moment ago, and then uh, Dennis saying, so have you read my book? <laughs> Michael Jordan misses a shot here. Luke Longley can't get his hands on it, and Michael Jordan just gets right in Luke's face. And during the timeout, continues to ride Luke Longley as all. Thought he was fouled. Shrimp with a bad pass, and here's Pippen with the breakaway. You've got to get in the game. Don't let the fatigue get to you. You have this game in hand, but he said, "Don't forget." With seven and a half remaining in the fourth quarter, a series of moves attempted by Longley leading to this. Yes, and it counts on the Sonics since that Chicago 13 point lead. Jordan. Michael Jordan able to penetrate. Brown looking for the steal. Rolls 82. The Sonics 74. Here's Peyton. Right back. Gary Payton cuts it to a six point. Bulls lead. Defensive rebound. Stripped by Peyton, but able to work capture and falls 
for time. Askew tried to knock it aside. Jordan, very upset. He thought he was fouled. And as we have been discussing a number of opportunities. Here is Jordan, and he's fouled. Hit from behind by Shrimp. And took exception to it as Shrimp taking a wild swing there. Got a piece of the ball, but no doubt got a piece of the head of Michael Jordan and a quick reaction, and then Michael caught himself. This is just a replay of game one. Whoa. This is a... You put Detlef Shrimp a four of eight at the line in the fourth quarter. You can't come so hard where he's going to split it or go around. Thing for granted. Now the question on the his inside arm. Well, let's see. Well, we'll the hat trick. And it's controlled by Jordan. And now the foul with three and seven ten seconds remaining. Oh, Peyton and Jordan having some words face to face. And Hopper guides Peyton away. Now Sean Kemp calming Gary Payton down. Well, Michael well aware of the repercussions if he gets into any kind of uh, trash talking or taunting or a possible throwing of a fist or a slap. He walks away and Kemp wisely gets Payton out of there. Rodman going to the foul line. Seven ten seconds to go. In the fourth. And Rodman is able to hit for a four-point lead. Perkins fires it down for Shrimp. And that will do it. The Chicago Bulls escape with the victory. The Bulls over the Sonics, 92 to 88. So they protect the home court. They are up in this best of seven, two games to nothing with game three to take place in Seattle on Sunday night. 29 for Jordan, 21 for Pippen. Let's go to Jim Gray with Dennis Rodman. 20, uh, nine points, he has 20 rebounds, tying a playoff record. Dennis, you made that final free throw there, plus you had a lot of words with George Carl. What did you say to him after his derogatory comments about you? Well, you know, me and George Carl go back a long way, and uh, I remember a couple years ago, he really wanted me to come to Seattle, and I wanted to go to Seattle. They won a championship there, but, you know, it's all about uh, mind games and head games. That's what it's all about. Have you won the mind games now? You're 2-0 in the series, but are you ahead on the mind games as well? I don't think so. I think Seattle's a great team, a great athletic team. They can, keep, they can get in any game and get in anybody's head. But tonight, you know, I think that, that we were on the free throw line.